Hello and welcome to Panzer's Voice Attack Setup Guide. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Panzer here and it's another Elite Dangerous Guide video as it turns out. So today we're going to be talking about what you might have just heard before the intro there. There's a little bit of text to speech and that's all done by a program called Voice Attack. Now, this is a program you might have heard of before already because people are talking about it, you know, being able to control your ship using your voice. And uh, that's what this program allows you to do, essentially. You can automate a lot of the key presses that you would otherwise have to do. For example, gear down, lights on, lights off, cargo scoops, and that sort of thing you would have to actually use those uh, with key presses. If you're somebody who uses a uh, flight stick and throttle, or in other words a HOTAS setup, you might have a bit of problem with reaching keyboard keys, and that's where voice attack can come in quite useful. So, just an example of some of the things that voice attack can do. Um, for example, boost. I can also uh, divert or I can actually uh, arm weapons, guns up. She sometimes doesn't listen to me. Guns up. And of course you can put them away as well. Stand down. That's just some of the examples of things that you can do uh, with voice attack. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to set up voice attack, and you can see at the bottom right here, this moving grey bar, it's already detecting my voice. And the first thing that you're going to see is this blank space down here, this is actually the response menu, so you can see if I just hit the mute button you can actually see something has appeared there. If you have two monitors set up this is actually really useful, um, never mind all of that. Um, this is actually really useful to see whether your commands are going through or not. And uh, you can see that I've actually muted it so that it only uh, tracks on demand. So if I hit the control button, you can set this any button you want. If I hit the control button, it will actually unmute, listen, and then I can mute it again. So there's that. And it will let you know if it doesn't recognize any particular command. So the first thing you're going to want to do is add a command. So how you can actually do this, uh, before you actually get into that, just make sure that your settings are correct. So speech engine, you don't really need to change that. It seems to be just fine for the most part. Uh, recognition hotkey, this is what I'm using to mute and unmute the, um, the voice attack. And you can have it set to all sorts of notifications and all that so you can have it make a notification sound or not um, at the moment I have that on for when I'm playing normally but if I was to record uh, or stream with it I might actually switch it off and you can actually change the sounds and all of this sort of thing so it's all very very nice uh, I think the quality of the mic might make a difference but it seems to work using uh, standalone mics and headsets just fine so it's not really too much of an issue. Alright so uh, first thing you want to do is you want to add a command so for the very first commands there is actually a list online and I think if you search you can probably find profiles that you can just download and install but bear in mind the trial version limits you to a maximum of 20 commands so you aren't going to be able to use some of those that other people are using but then this is an $8 program so if it works for you go ahead and use it. So I'm just going to show you how to set up the program for yourself so by let's actually just delete something uh which is the one that I don't need. All right, let's delete this one. So the first thing you can do is hit new command. And when you have that come up, this is the window that you're going to, you're going to have. So you have an add a command and you can have it set to uh, speech recognition. You can set it to keys or you can set it to uh, press a button, which could be a controller button, for example. So if I have this to this command to act when I say, for example, I want the guns to, or oh, I want uh, full power to engines. So I can type in uh, full throttle, for example. Okay. Um, then, 
for example, now I can add a key press. So this is actually the command area. So when you say full throttle, you can open a key press over here, select the key, and for example, I have full... Th now, this is important. You've got to remember the key bindings in the actual game. So, the, for example, if you have full throttle set to zero, you want to set zero. That's the gist of it, really. And you can add uh, control, windows key, alt and shift combinations as well, or any of these. And this is the button that will be pressed when you are, uh, say, full throttle. Now, you want the default setting for this hold down uh, is actually 0 0.1. I actually changed that to 2 because it didn't register some of the keystrokes, so you actually want to change this to 2 if it isn't already. Uh, or you can have it set to continuously press or release a particular key. So this can be useful if you want to, for example, divert power or this and that. Uh, you can actually set it to different key combinations, so I can actually do that. So let's say I want it to do that, uh, and then I want it to tell me that it's done that. Which can be really useful if you've not, if you've not actually... Um, got a second monitor as well and you want the you know some sort of feedback that it's recognized your command you can have it say something so you can have it say engine throttle at full okay so and then here you can select the voices that you have now microsoft anna is the default which doesn't sound as nice but you can go and download more these are actually downloadable through the microsoft uh website but getting these in it requires a little bit of registry editing. Uh, I don't recommend doing it. Um, the other way is going to Avona, which is the voice that I'm using here. This is actually a paid text-to-speech uh, voice that you can use. So there's that, and it sounds like this. It sounds very different. and But the main thing is that this is just for, for you to, to have some sort of feedback. Uh, or if you just want it for fun, really, it's it's really up to you. And you can set the playback rate as well. I can set it to really slow or really fast, which is completely uh, you know unrecognizable. And you can set the volume as well. The only criticism I have about this is that the voice itself isn't specific to the program. It's actually specific to the command. So if I want everything now to be at 50%, I'm going to have to change every single command to 50%, which is tedious. I think that's the um, nicest way of putting that. So now, uh, so let's say we want zero. Okay, so we actually have... Okay. You can actually reset that to full power instead. Okay, so we actually already have a full throttle command. I forgot about that. And uh, let me just open notepad here the wonderful, wonderful notepad, just so that you can see that this is actually working. Now, the the thing about this is, oh, we've got to save that by hitting done. Uh, if you don't hit done, it doesn't save the command. That's the other thing you've got to be aware of. And just take note of this send commands to thing over here, because that's that's the active window. So you can set it to a particular window by clicking the drop-down menu, or you can have it send only to the active windows. For example, if the game is maximized, it will send it to the game, but if you have it, have, for example, uh, notepad over here, then it will send it to this window instead. So you can have that set to something permanently, or you can have it uh, just set to active window. I've got this for testing purposes, so uh, I don't actually have that changed, but you probably will want to set that to something uh, for particular profiles. And you can also set commands to switch profiles for you as well. So just to test that, the a uh, command we made earlier works, so let's just make sure that this is that. So if I say full power, what we should see is the zero key pressed, and then uh, the text-to-speech will say engine throttle at full. So let's see if it works. Full power. I guess it didn't actually detect that. Full power. It's, uh... Okay, there we go. So I can't actually do that with the um, command view open. Good to know. I didn't actually know that before recording this. Okay, so full power. Full power. 
Okay, so you can see there when it de when it detects the the actual command, which it didn't at first, uh, and then you can see it's actually made a little zero down here. So it's actually pressed the zero key and then said the text to speech. So just test it again. Full power. You can see it just typed another zero. So that's basically all that this program does. It just helps you to press the keys. So you've got to make sure that you set key bindings to particular things that you actually need and then set the commands to those particular key bindings. Uh, and that's really it. Uh, so of course we can do this with with any of the controls that we have here. For example, gear down and lock. And it's actually typed an L there, which is the L key. Uh, gear up gear up and you can see there there's the uh, L key so I've actually got two different commands that kind of do the same thing but it's more for immersion purposes so I don't confuse myself uh, but you can set these to anything you want and that's really all there is to it Now bear in mind, Voice Attack is not a free program. It comes with a 30 day free trial and it's $8 to purchase, which is actually really cheap. And if you're interested in this sort of program, that's not a lot of money to pay at all. Uh, the tricky part comes in when you are looking at text to speech voices. Unfortunately, even the uh, Windows text to speech voices aren't particularly good. They're, I suppose, sufficient if you just want a little bit of response, but if you want a nicer sounding text-to-speech voice, most of these are paid for. The one I'm using right now is by a company called Avona, which is I-V-O-N-A, and they're about 20 to $30 a piece. So if you want one set of uh, text-to-speech voices, that's how much it's actually going to cost you. Uh, it's For some people, that might not be a lot of money at all, but Bearing in mind that is just for a text-to-speech voice, which serves really no p purpose in the actual game other than maybe some sort of immersion. Um, but if you're looking for the voice that seems to suit the in-game voice as much as possible, the uh, Amy, I think it's called, the, the voice named Amy by Avona seems to be very close. There is also an Elite Dangerous voice pack that is in the works for voice attack. You can go and check that out on EliteDangerousVoicePack.com. Uh, I have that in the description down below. Now bear in mind, there are some programs, or rather some actions that can't be automated. For example, requesting docking is a little bit difficult to automate. I'm sure it will be possible at some time in the future, but at the moment, it seems a little bit difficult to get that working, uh, so don't expect everything to be automated, unfortunately. But everything else uh, seems to be fairly easy to do. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've shown you some of the commands that I have, and they are definitely very easy to set up. And the calibration on it is relatively simple, unless you have a very distinct accent, then maybe it might not be as might not be as uh, easy for it to pick your voice up. But it picked mine up just fine, so try it for yourself. Get the trial version before you buy uh, to see if it works for you. If not, gear down and lock. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Panzer, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. See you next time.